Once there was a beggar who was begging for alms during a train journey. He spotted a wealthy man dressed in fine clothes and thought, this person looks very rich. If I beg from him, he might give me good money. So, he approached the wealthy man and started asking for alms. The wealthy man, observing the beggar, asked him, you always ask for alms, but have you ever given anything to anyone? The beggar replied, sir, I am just a beggar. I always ask people for help, I don't have the means to give anything to others. The wealthy man said, if you cannot give anything to anyone, then you have no right to beg either. I am a businessman, and I believe in exchange. If you have something to offer me in return, only then can I give you something in return. As the train approached the station where the wealthy man had to disembark, he got off and left. The beggar started pondering over the words of the wealthy man. His words struck a chord within him. He thought that perhaps he wasn't receiving much alms because he couldn't offer anything in return. But he was just a beggar, what could he give in exchange for alms? He spent the whole day contemplating, but he couldn't find an answer to his question. The next day, while sitting near the station, he noticed some flowers blooming on the plants nearby. He thought, why not give people some flowers in return for their alms? I like this idea. So, he plucked some flowers from the plants. As people gave him alms, he would also give them a few flowers in return. People felt happy receiving those flowers and kept them with them. From that day onwards, the beggar started picking flowers and giving them to people in exchange for alms. After a few days, he realized that more and more people were giving him alms now. As long as he had flowers to give, people would offer him alms. But when the flowers ran out, he received no alms. This continued every day. One day, while begging for alms, he saw the same wealthy man in the train. The one who had inspired him to offer flowers in exchange for alms. Immediately, he went up to the wealthy man and said, Today, I have something to give you in return for your alms. Here are some flowers. Please give me alms, and I'll give you these flowers in return. The wealthy man gave him some money as alms, and in return, the beggar handed him the flowers. The wealthy man was pleased. He said, Wow, what a transformation. Today, you have become like a businessman just like me. The beggar was left stunned and went away thinking from there. Two or three years passed. Then a car stopped at that businessman's door. A man comes out from the car carrying a large bouquet of expensive flowers. The businessman thought that a big customer had come. The man went to the businessman's home and gave him a bouquet and asked, Sir, did you recognize me? The businessman said, No sir, who are you? The man said, Sir, I am the same beggar who once used to beg at the station. Your words made me a big flower merchant. The businessman embraced her. The moral of this story is every person on this earth is unique in itself and everyone has some specialty. Therefore, we should recognize our strength, then we will not take long to change our world. The story illustrates the principle that giving and receiving are interconnected. The beggar's act of giving flowers to those who offered him alms created a cycle of reciprocity. By giving, he received more in return.